Welcome to Shortcut Reviews. We're getting right to the point here. We're going to be looking at the Best Tech Telex. I want to thank Best Tech for providing this to the Apex Pass Around group uh, so we could all take a look at it. Really do appreciate it. Next to the Rat Model 2 and the Delica. Similar size handles, but a fair amount more cutting edge to it, um, which is pretty nice. Dollar Bill Zebra Pen. And you can quickly see that this is the sweet spot for this channel, which is kind of suburban office carry five days a week at least and this is a really good size for that um, it reminds me a lot of the tanagram in the sense that you have kind of a sweeping edge here all belly there's no straight here so it gives you a little pretty nice cutting performance does have a little decorative swedge on the top really nicely rounded here Got a bit of jimping, that's not overly aggressive. Got a little bit of bite to it, but not a super amount. But kind of, um, what do you kind of expect in a knife this size? I mean, it's not, uh, you know, this is not a, a survival knife or anything like that, but it does but it does lock you in pretty well. Uh, what I do like is this really nice sharpening choil, well executed, they hit it perfectly. Small Best Tech logo in the corner and D2, which is the steel. In this corner, that's the only markings on the blade, so it's not all billboarded up or anything like that. Um, has a nice, an, enough point to pierce, uh, which is pretty nice. And uh, compared to the Tanagram, uh, certainly a stronger tip uh, with a fair bit more meat behind it than the Tanagram, so that's kind of nice, particularly if you're a little bit abusive. Um, has your standard pivot, which we see a lot on Best Tech. And it has some skeletonizing on this side. Let me grab my favorite flashlight. And let's see if we can see this. And has a bit of skeletonization on this side, actually a fair, a fair amount. Brings the weight down. It's got a bit of chunk to it. It's a thicker knife overall than the Tanagram, but with the Tanagram, it's just kind of slab-sided. This, they started off with pretty aggressive G10 here, and then with the milling at smooth, adds just the right amount. That aggressive G10 falls right under your fingertips where you'd expect it to. Um, really nice in the hand, not overly large, so my fat medium-sized hands have just enough blade. Has a really nice finger notch right here, and then very neutral for the rest. Again, with a little bit of a blade guard here made out of the flipper tab. This is a liner lock flipper, and it flips really, really nice um, due to just having a really, really nice detent. Um, once you break the lock, it's going to hit your thumb, which is nice, on the way down, and just close it up. Uh, if you get your thumb out of there, um, it'll drop shut uh, with just a little bit of shake. I mean, really nice action on this knife. It has um, a little bit of a red pop here. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Kapara pop, right? The red uh, works as a lanyard tube, which is pretty nice. On the flip, uh, I usually complain about anything with a point because it tends to drive it into the palm of your hand, but really this flips so easy with um, just the right amount of tension that um, not gonna drive that into your palm of your hand, so that's great. Um, just well executed. The liners are, um, they got a bit of a chamfer and a rounding on them. Uh, they fit flush to the scales. You can see how they did it. They even, see how they made it just a little bit wider there. So they made it fit. They didn't do the chamfering here where the back spacer is. So it fits perfectly. There's not a gap there. I mean, just really well executed. There's the lockup. Uh, looks just about perfect to me. Um, it's early, has plenty of time to, to wear in. Not much to complain about at all on this knife. Uh, if anything, for me at least, would be the fact that I would have liked to have seen a loop over, a loop over clip. That's how much shows um, that is or isn't a thing for you. I actually do prefer uh, the simple loop over here just because of the way it carries on the tenogram. But you see there the screws kind of cause problems, right? Because they're sticking up into the path a bit. For this, of course, you don't have that problem. It is on the rough G10, but it's not so rough that it causes any problem getting in your pocket. It has nice grip, nice tension. Um, can't complain there at all. And does not create a hot spot at all, at least in my fat medium-sized hands. It kind of fits right in, right in that notch there. 
can't complain at all. So again, just a great little knife from Best Tech, and I really do love the blade shape. It reminds me so much of, um, you know, the Tanagram, like I said, but it also reminds me of um, the Kershaw here, the Dividend that I really like as well. Again, just all belly. Now in the Kershaw, they might be a little flat up towards the tip, which is a little usually the opposite of what normally is. But again, all in the same size range great for for office edc uh, thanks again for joining me for the best tech telex and again thanks to best tech for providing it to the pass around group just super well executed uh little knife that um it's got some solidity to it that's that that's the other thing too it feels uh, certainly more solid in the hand than the dividend just due to the ultra thinness of the dividend and the slick scales of the aluminum and even compared to um, the tanagram the extra milling is really nice on the handles here um, it's a little bit wider in the hand but with that milling really fits nice a uh, little bit thinner in the back which you do feel and you know we tend to you know our, our hands get smaller in the back so that seems to work pretty well uh, again, just a great little offering from Best Tech. Uh, thanks again, and stay sharp.